so this is the theory question given so what theory you can write is uh, first one is a finite state machine a finite state machine is also sometimes called as finite automata that is the first point finite state machine or finite automata okay and it is mainly consisting of quintuple quintuple you can write it this way it contains quintuple and the quintuple means quint means five tuple means is a kind of ordered pair right so quintuple q sigma delta q naught and f where capital q is set of states set of states and sigma is input alphabet i'll give you an example don't worry i'm just writing down uh, the things which you should write in the exam to fill the paper and then i'll give you an example and you can even show it it will even elaborate the question okay so it is input alphabet sigma is input alphabet and then this is delta this symbol is called as delta right and it is generally called transition function transition function see again i'm saying if you want to learn this subject in depth you please follow that gate lectures uh, by me in my channel gate lectures by ravindra babu rawla you watch it and again come back here uh, here i am trying to give you just uh, you know one day before the exam if you want to learn this i am just uh, trying to brush up all the concepts so that you can just go and pass the exam or in case if you have learned that you will get good marks okay so you can just by heart this you can remember them and write it there transition function and q not is initial state initial state and f is set of final states right so what do i mean by this is uh, i'll just take an example and i'll show you you can you can give this one as example this is a state and this is a state let's say like this and let's say like this okay let's say these are all the states right now if you watch this so what is q q is set of states right and in this example see you just write this one first what is what is that you are going to write in the exam is first one is uh, a finite automata or finite state machine is uh, is a a uh, quintuple quintuple means a tuple containing 5 and the tuple is going to be this q sigma delta q not f that is first you are going to write it and then you are going to write about each one one by one like this and after that you just give this example and explain in this uh, example what is q and what are all these terms okay that is what i am trying to do here now already i told you that q is set of states what are the set of states here three states a b c isn't it a b c and sigma is input alphabet right and what are the input alphabet used here input alphabet means whatever you see on the transitions right these are the input alphabet so this is actually a comma b is the input alphabet right and then delta delta is the transition function so what does transition function say is a state upon seeing a symbol where does it go that is transition symbol right transition state so if you want to elaborate it you can write it like this a transition function delta is a function from q cross sigma to q it, it means that in one state if you look at some symbol to which state are you going in some state if you look at some input symbol what is the state you are actually going into that is what is given by transition function right so here uh, what is q cross sigma already we know that this set q is containing three elements a b c and this set sigma is containing two elements small a small b right and q cross sigma now i want to find out this set q cross sigma if there are three elements here and two elements here in the cross partition product we are going to have six elements right and the six elements are going to be like this a a a b b a b b c a c b right 
and if you look at this delta is a function from q cross sigma to q now what is q q contains three three elements a b c right so for this example how does delta act is for this particular example how does delta act is from here so in capital a on seeing small a what is where is it going it is going to b isn't it and capital a on seeing small b where is it going it is going to c that is the mapping right so it is a q cross sigma to q in in fact i am i am actually explaining about dfa see again finite automata has various types so finite automata with output and finite automata without output this is with output and this is uh, without output and without output is again of three types one is dfa and other is nfa and other is uh, epsilon nfa and without output is of with output is of two types one is mealy machine and other is moore machine right so actually i am taking the example of dfa which is also a finite automata and i am explaining you all this right so even this transition function q cross sigma to q is actually uh, for this example which is a dfa you can give it no problem because they are generally ask, normally asking about finite automata they didn't specify about which one right and you know yeah a on b is going to c and b on small a and small b is going to b itself right and c on small a and small b is going to c itself so that is why c comma a and c comma b is going to c that is uh, delta and q not is the initial state here the initial state is a and the f is final state here the final state is b therefore q not equal to initial state which is a and f is a set of final states isn't it set of final states therefore here we have only one set one final state which is b so that is about the final state machine so just write about all these five and then elaborate them and after elaborating them you can just do the example and explain what it is right okay